All right, so here for our clothing, closing thoughts. Man, yep. we're just having a time today. So the winner overall was uh, Jay Blanks with his Sylveon deck. Second place was uh, Brian Strykel with his other Sylveon, Sylveon deck. Other Sylveon deck. Uh, third, I believe, was Dane. It was Dane, and then in fourth we had Chris McKinney. Yep, Chris McKinney, who wasn't on the stream, but he ran a Sylveon Espeon mix. That's a fun little EV deck. Yep. Uh, so one thing I've definitely now are, you know, we only had uh, ten people, so you know, not a huge number, but even still, Sylveon seems like a really strong contender for you know one of the best decks. You've know, seen what it can do. It can come back. It can shut down these really fast decks that just dominate mm -hmm. and keep control and then just wear them down until they deck out. Yep. And excluding the, the mirror matchup, you you still can get three games. Yeah. Um, because one of the things I saw with like Quad Lapras in the last, uh, uh, like before Guardians Rising came out, mm -hmm. was that Quad Lapras, because you only just drew three cards, you often found yourself, you know, you wouldn't get exactly what you wanted, and so games... So would sometimes last longer. Um, so there's definitely this little, you know, I think Sylveon's a lot better as a control deck than Quad Lapras because just being able to choose three cards is oh, yeah, no, very that's, important. That's definitely a um, very like, uh, very well liked. Yeah. Uh, one thing that did not see to, uh, today, the, like, there's a couple other popular decks that came out of Guardians Rising. Uh, there's uh, Garbodor, which, you know, is rumored to be one of the best cards that came out of Guardians Rising. And that Trash Alanche is really nice. Trash Alanche is really nice. Um, another thing that I personally run, but since, you know, commentating, didn't play, uh, there's Nine Tails, uh, Lola Nine Tails, which is a good deck. Uh, I think it only gets better as time goes on, because stuff like the new Coco promo really works well with it. Oh, yeah. Um, another, nothing, we didn't see any uh, Tapu Coco uh, GXs. Um... Now, you know, we had a small pool to take yeah. data from, but uh, I think right now, you know, the top contender right now is Sylveon. Now, the question is, how does, you know, stuff from pra the past rotations, you know, your Turbo Darks, your Mega Mewtwo's... Those Decidueyes. Decidueyes. Like. How do they fit into this format? Because, you know, Mega Mewtwo, I don't think is going to last. You know, Garbodor has weakness on it, so it's just going to, you know, it's going to take care of it really easy. I don't think any Turbo deck is going to do all that well if Garbodor is prevalent. prevalent. Because with turbo decks, you always run, you know, max elixirs, a lot of items. Oh, yes. And Garbodor loves when you spend time on items. So I think those Decidueye plumes, where they don't run a lot of items because of the mm -hmm. item lock they inflict on the whole board, they, I think they might be a strong contender against Garbodor, mm -hmm. but... They could survive, but, you know, then you run to, like, how does that matchup work with Sylveon? It's like... You know, two walls. You know, mm -hmm. Decidueye maybe you know doing twenty to sixty damage to, per turn, depending on the number of uh, Decidueyes. But you know, there's Max Potions. There's you know Hex Maniacs. There's a, you know, it's going to be interesting moving on forward, seeing how these decks interact. Um, a couple of cards that, let's see, what the the only really card, the only big card that's come that's come out since Guardians Rising is that Tapu Koko promo. Um, that's just going to make uh, decks like Ninetales better. Um, I don't know how it's going to deal with other decks. Um, I saw a lot of people running it with the Ninetales. Um, another deck that has resurfaced is Greninja. Oh, Today yes. there was two uh, Greninjas. There was a, just a flat-out Greninja and then a Greninja Golduck. Um, Greninja, is, it's come back. It, you know, it, its main issue was you know the uh, Garbotoxin Garbodor. And oh, yes. now with Field Blower, you get rid of that item, you now have... A lot of its big enemies are out of the way. You mm -hmm. can deal with them much more easily than you could before. Um, just a lot to work with. Aqua Patch is probably a nice little addition to them. I, I don't know I don't if know you'd if play it too much with that deck, but... It's definitely an option. Um, and, you know, it's this is literally the second day it's been legal. Yeah, so... And there's already, you know, a couple clear contenders, but you really never know. People kind of underestimated Decidueye, and look how it turned out. Oh, yeah. People greatly underestimated Quad Lapras. Oh, yeah. I know. I, mean, I was like, oh, this is just a... Yeah. I'll oh, this is funny. I'll, I'll be perfectly honest. I pulled two of my first booster boxes. I was like, psh, yeah, <laughs> traded them off. Uh, and I regretted it. <laughs> Though now I'm a Sylveon, so we're good. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, so, thank you all for watching the stream. 
Uh, you know, we at Four Horsemen, we do have Friday night Pokemon every Friday at 6.30. You know, come down. You know, it's a $5 tournament. Everyone gets prizes. We do tickets and stuff like that and promo cards. On Saturdays, we do have our Pokemon League. Uh, which I believe starts at noon. I think that's the official start time, although yep. you might find a few of us around earlier than that. Yep. It's just kind of an open environment, friendly for all ages, just for people to get into the game, learn about the game, yep. and just get better at playing, trade some cards. It's yeah. a fun environment. Fridays are definitely, like, if you if you want to be, you know, competitive, if you want to, you know, play in a tournament a week, then Friday Night Pokemon is the way to go. It's a really good opportunity to see the meta see you know what people are building what people are playing uh it's a lot of fun and you get free stuff yeah so it's a great time both times um and uh, apologies for the technical difficulties earlier yeah. hopefully <laughs> next time we do this we can uh get those kinks worked out yeah. and thanks for bearing with us all right thank you very much see you guys later